I have how many days left? How many days? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I just figured that I have twelve days in total to wrap up the chapter of my book, the second chapter. Literally, because it's due of procrastination and all that bullshit. So, literally, I need to get this done. So, I did a writing plan to just manage my time. I thought I could do four hours a day of writing. That's absolutely insane for me, at least. Being ambitious, but I did end up finishing writing this whole chapter for this year. Now, it's for me to write my book and finish it up. Here's the footage. So my first writing session lasted for 30 minutes, so I decided to take a break to then continue on uh, writing for another 30 minutes, so that's what I did. So it's daylight saving, so it became dark fairly quickly, but that will not stop me from continue on writing. Honestly, I started off very strong, but like during the middle and end, I started to quickly become very tired though. I need a break. ASAP. 10 minutes left. <laughs> Yesterday, I haven't completed shit. Welcome back, and I'm procrastinating. Anyways, I have to persevere, get through my own self-doubt and procrastination, and just start writing. So we begin the time lapse. The whole concept of slow and steady wins the race in writing actually applies super well. True. And like, honestly, like, I realize like writing for me, I need like 30 minutes, a break, and then write for 30 minutes, a break, write for 30 minutes, and then another break. That's how I work. In short bursts of like 30 minutes, that's perfect for me at least. Always have a water bottle to stay hydrated because honestly, like no one has the time for being in that whole writing zone and getting up for some water. So it's better to just have something. Even though sometimes when I do write, I forget to drink, but still. Always have water next to you. Always, all the time. So... Over here, I'm writing, and when I write, I write on Google Docs, just a simple document, and I write with like Times New Roman on a I, italics because it just looks nice, in my opinion, so that's what I use to write and what font I'm using and, and in what style. Also, I use Grammarly to help with like sentence structure, uh, grammar and spelling checks. I use the free version, so that's fine for me. So that's what I use for like spelling checks and all that stuff. Like two, two, two angel numbers. And the timer is virtual cottage. Took a break. And got bubble tea. And I'm gonna go back to writing. Yeah, that's gross. Let's go back to it. Let's get into it. Here we go again. To be so fair and honest, I get tired so quickly when writing because my brain like has to come up with a developing story because I mainly have a concept that I just imagine and I just write, write, write. Like literally, it's okay if you don't feel like you're writing enough, just write something and we'll see where it takes you. That's how I write and it brought me to two whole chapters. So that's pretty amazing. And now I'm writing my third. I'm getting tired, but I have to persevere. Yeah, I'm getting tired. Help me. <sighs> I was getting really tired. 
An issue I face actually was to have a bigger vocabulary range so I don't easily like repeat myself in my sentences and continuously use the same words. Honestly, at this point, I was actually having a flow of a lot of ideas. Like, I thought I was getting pretty burnt out, but then out of nowhere, I was starting to get a spark of, like, ideas of characters and certain events. So I immediately just wrote it down, and I came up with a pretty good, like, paragraph that, like, developed the story. So I'm pretty proud of myself at this point. I'm going to bathroom break, and I'm going to listen to some music and continue on. 192 minutes to go and left mm. so tired i get so tired so quickly it's so annoying <sighs> let me close my shutters because it's now dark literally these daylight saving hours are literally crazy like y'all can't even see me only if i like shift where my laptop is is when y'all can see me a little <laughs> not at all like that. Stay hydrated. Don't forget that. See y'all soon after my bathroom break. It'll be here. So after my bathroom break, I had a few more ideas, so I just wrote it down, and that's when I wrapped it up. Here's a time lapse of me wrapping it up. But to be fair though, when I was filming this, like my whole process of wrapping up this whole chapter before the new year of 2024, I was genuinely thought that I wasn't able to complete it in the span of 12 days into which was true, only a little bit. I only just succeeded until a little bit more until January 4th. And that's when I completely finished the this chapter so at least i finished it even, even even if it took a bit of like the beginning of the year it's fine break hey y'all so i decided to work at night then more in the morning for day number three um so i'm going to continue off from the time of last night uh to just complete the time <laughs> like i think i have two hours left 167 minutes to go. I'll do a little bit more to catch up from today, but it was a bit unrealistic of me to do four hours like I was going crazy, but um, I'll just do as much as I can. And we're pretty good. I've done a lot of improvement, so let's keep on. Hey, it's been a while since I filmed or wrote. I wrote last night, but I forgot to film it. Uh, literally because of holidays and stuff and needing to take a break and mentally to just recover take a little burnout moment uh just writing again and literally like filming while writing and the time I have is just really crazy even if I don't finish it from the last week of this year there's no time limit I'll manage in the beginning of the year I'll just finish this up like I'll figure it out writing again so as you heard from the last clip i did have like a whole burnout moment with like writer's block completely but i quickly like caught back up and went back on my like thriving moment of just like continuing to write even if i think it's shit and i managed to finish though so i'm really happy that i did pursue it so future me it is January 11th, 2000 now, 2024, and I've actually completed the entire chapter. And like I said, I did take the few days of the start of January of this year, 2024, the new year, actually to just finish the last chapter, the, the last paragraph, the last bits. But I finally completed the chapter. And now I moved on to season three of Society. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video and now embark on my journey for writing season three. I love you so much. Alicia loves you. Don't forget that. Four, four, four.